Hi everybody, it's Albert, and once more I'm, I'm giving my coverage of the end of the world. Um, my last one was shortly after midnight as, as the, end, the day for the end of the world rolled in, and well, nothing happened. Um, and, and I was sitting by the Christmas tree having some eggnog, now in my study having some coffee. I figured if the world's not going to end, I might as well make some coffee, right? And you know, I, I'd like to offer you a cup, but it's kind of hard to do over the over the uh, over YouTube. Um, but feel free to make yourself a cup of coffee or tea or hot chocolate or whatever you feel in the mood for. Um, so so you know, just sit back and relax uh, as as the world supposedly ends. Uh, now I checked out a, a few things on the internet. You know, some of the sites that were doing the 2012 thing and. And it seemed that they they seemed to have a lot of them had tied it to something you know the sun rising in Guatemala or something I don't know but um, it I believe the the time when the great change was to occur would have been uh, they somewhere around eleven fifteen or so um, Greenwich Mean Time eleven fifteen a.m. Greenwich Mean Time well it's now uh, twelve fifty eight p.m. Greenwich Mean Time so it, you know, um, over an hour and a half has passed since the world was supposed to change, and well, nothing's changed. Um, you know, the, the, we had I haven't seen any either any mass destruction or great enlightenment, depending on which group you were listening to at the moment. Everything seems pretty much as it was an hour and a half ago, um, or more, and, and pretty much as it was yesterday. I no signs of Nibiru, by the way. You know, it didn't just sneak in out of nowhere, you know, not that anyone would have expected it to. Um, it, it's kind of funny with, with things like Nibiru and, gravi and the sort of supposed gravitational effects that people who basically couldn't, sol couldn't solve a differential equation if their life depended on it suddenly think they're experts in physics. That happened with Comet Ellen, and if you remember, I did a video on that sometime last year, and it, it did a couple of videos on that, and that you know, also became, also was kind of silly. Um, now, with, with this one, of course, we have uh, the, the this whole um, big, this was the big, this is much bigger than the Harold Camping thing. That was just like, that was one of the, that was just his little group. Um, but th this one is actually, this has been, they made movies about it, you know, Hollywood movies about 2012, that sort of thing. Um, you know, TV, the, I mean, the History Channel's been running, running, you know, countdown to Armageddon stuff all, all last night and leading up to midnight. And I, I guess since, I guess as of tomorrow, since it'll be over, uh, about two thirds of the programming on the History Channel will basically have to go into the trash can because, you know, they're not going to be able to run it anymore because the day passed, you know. It's a, um, so that that's kind of puts a damper on, on I guess there's, there's, you know, they, they probably now have programs telling why the whole thing was ridiculous, even though they've used it to milk advertising dollars for the last year and a half. Um, now we'll have all the expert, the real experts, instead of the, the sort of folks you normally see on Ancient Aliens, they'll have the real experts come up and, and tell everybody why the whole thing was ridiculous. Um, but, of course, that's, you know, kind of typical. Uh, and let's see, anything else going yet? Um, I, I have noticed, though, with these big, when there's going to be this big thing, um, in 1976, I believe it was, the, the 1976, they had the alleged planetary alignment that was going to, you know, knock the Earth off its axis or some, some such thing. Of course, that never happened. I mean, it was ridiculous if you understood anything about physics, it really the, gra the gravitational effect of these other planets really minute. Um, I mean, in fact, when you were delivered the gravitational pull of the doctor who delivered you when you were born is greater than the planet Mars on you. So, I mean, that kind of gives you an, an, an inkling. Um, but you had that one. That was 76. Now, in 1988, of course, we had the, that was 40 years of that Israel had existed. And they were old. And lots of the people were, it was the whole late great planet Earth. The lots of people that 88 reasons the rapture will occur in 88, that sort of thing. That whole 
it was like the first big wave. The whole it was the Hal Lindsey and then and then whoever that guy Wiesenut or whatever wrote that book about the eighty eight reason. And there was this big craze about the world was going to end in eighty eight. So you had seventy six and eighty eight. Then of course you had Y two K in two thousand, the year two thousand. Everyone remembers that. I hope who was around, and, and the big pull for that. Now of course we've had this other other big pull at 2012 now granted we've had a few little ones like the harold camping thing but that wasn't like a, you know that wasn't a real big that i mean that was more like his little group but in terms of mass media stuff you, you had the 76 the 88 the 2000 to 2012 um you know in, i mean since 2012 we've had hollywood movies of course y2k was totally insane so so what i'm figuring is that that basically this thing seems to People seem to get the idea that the world's going to end every 12 years. Um, so I'm figuring 2024 will be the next big one to, to keep keep an eye on that. And if and and, and I'm just saying this if, if if we're still around, you know, and you see this 2000 something coming up in 2024, you can make lots of money. Okay, so you could you could just jump on the bandwagon, make lots of money for three or four years, and then retire. And who cares if you're wrong? You know, I mean, just don't do something ridiculous like make people, um, you know, jump off cliffs or, you know, kill themselves. I mean, just keep it to where basically if they send you money, everything will be okay. Um, I guess that would be probably the, the you know, the, the ethical thing to do. But just let you know, the next one will we'll probably roll around in 12 years since they seem to go on that 12-year cycle. It's not quite as long as the as the Mayan cycle of three, however many thousands of years to this now we're on the next Bakhtun or whatever they call it, but, but you know it's, it's, it does give you a heads up if 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 you're short of cash in a, in a dozen years you'll be able to you know pull some in. Um, other than that, the world pretty much seems as it was yesterday, and the whole thing's kind of silly. But hey, I guess for all those people who ran up their credit cards or spent their life savings, yeah, sucks to be you. Thank you very much for your time.